Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this problem, we're given a problem that says find all the zeros of f of x equals x 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 48x's minus 32, given that 2 thirds is a zero of f of x. This basically is telling us that one of the solutions to the problem is x equals 2 thirds. And being that we know synthetic division, if you haven't seen the synthetic video, uh, synthetic division video, please check it out. But being that this is one of the solutions to this, we know that this is one of the given factors to the problem. So what we're going to do to solve this problem is we're going to use synthetic division to divide this problem using this as a solution. So what we're going to do is determine these coefficients and place them into our synthetic box so that we can break this down a little further. And our first term here is going to be 3x cubed. Uh, the 3x cubed gives us just the 3. The second coefficient is the negative 2. The third coefficient is 48. And the fourth is just negative 32. And here we see that we don't need any placeholders because it goes perfectly in descending order from cubed to squared to linear to no x variable. So we're going to use the synthetic rule to do this to prove that it's a 0 and see what's left over so we can solve the rest of whatever's left over. So the first term comes straight down. That gives us a 3. We multiply 2 thirds times 3, and we get positive 2. Now, when we add these, we get a 0. So 0 times 2 thirds is also 0. And we add them, and we get 48 here. The next step is to multiply 2 thirds times 48. And 48 divided by 3, that's going to be 18. And 18 times 2, let's see here, 48 times 2 thirds oh that's 16 okay so this is going to give us 16 16 times 2 is actually 32 so four, 48 times 2 thirds gives us these reduce and we get 16 this becomes 32 so this is perfect for this right because this is also 32 and it's positive and they add up to 0 and that concludes the first thing, and this proves that x, over two, x equals 2 thirds is an is a actual factor, a zero, of the equation. So what do we have left over? Now again, these are the coefficients ranging from constant to the first variable x to the x squared variable. So x equals 2 thirds is the first solution. The next two are going to be based on 3x squared plus... 48, because we have no x term, right? So the way it looks after doing this is 0x's plus 48. And the 0x's just goes away. So we have 3x squared plus 48. And we can try to solve these. So we have the first 0. The second zeros are going to come from this. So this is actually equivalent to 0 if we want to continue solving. We're going to factor out the 3. And 3 divides 48 16 times again, right? And we see here that if we divide both sides by 3, we could get rid of the 3. So this goes with this, and we have x squared plus 16 equals 0. And now what we'll do is we'll go on to solve this without using synthetic division, but instead we'll use simple methods for solving, like moving or transposition. So we'll subtract 16 to both sides. We get this to go away. We have x squared is equivalent to negative 16. And we're going to take the square root of both sides to get the last two zeros of this function, right? And so taking the square root of both sides, we know this is going to be plus and minus the square root of negative 16. And this is an imaginary term because there's no square root to any negative number. It's imaginary. So here we're going to have x equals. Now, the negative has no square root, but the 16 does. So this is technically plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4. So we have plus and minus 4. And the square root of negative 1 is just i. So these will be our final two terms. So our three terms then are x equals 2 thirds, x equals 4i, and finally x equals negative 4i's. Thank you.